Hey guys, good morning. It is a Wednesday morning. Just dropped the kids off for school. And we're supposed to have a Marine 2 departure from the U.S. Naval Observatory. But as you can see from the ground, there is quite a bit of light snow. Not on the sidewalks and the roads, but just on the grass. And I think that would actually create severe whiteout conditions for Marine 2 if it was landing at the Naval Observatory. So it looks like we're going to get a motorcade for the Vice President heading off to him. Looks like they're setting up for a motorcade instead of setting up for Marine 2. So guys, we're down here at the uh, Memorial Bridge and the Lincoln Memorial, thinking about where to take a video of motorcade and uh, thinking it's just too darn cold. <laughs> That's what we're thinking. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who ask, can I outrun a motorcade? The answer is no. <laughs> motorcade took a different route. It was uh, three blocks away from where I thought it would be. I did my best to get there, but it was a bit of an effort. Oh well. <laughs> interesting that was a c40 that's not a c32 uh, c40 is basically a 737 and the c32 is a 757 uh taking a different plane down to the funeral for tyree nichols in memphis today um i was gonna head out but i just looked at the trackers and the vc25 which is known more commonly as air force one the big 747 i think he's gonna do some practice touch and goes so let's just hang here for a little bit and see if we get a glimpse of that big plane there he is. Wednesday is touch and go day. Yeah, he's banking around. And we'll see him again in about five minutes, I think. It's about how long it takes that guy to go around. Maybe we'll put the bigger lens on. Where'd he go? So touch and goes go on. There's like a dozen of them or so. We got about five minutes between touch and go. So I'm going to move the car to a better location to try to get a better view because the sun on this location is kind of blinding me. So let's go down the block and around the corner. There you are.
tracker, tracker lost him, so I lost him. I was like, why has he come by? Now, well, there he is. We'll get him next time. This is our last one. We're gonna just do photos on the big camera and we'll record with the uh, iPhone. Should come up over the trees. It's the tow truck behind me making noise. Unless he's done. There he is. This is picture time. I've told you before I could stay here all day because it's cool but uh, there's other stuff going on in the city in fact there's just been a quadruple shooting one person dead in the subway station just a couple stops away from Capitol Hill so we're gonna run up to Capitol Hill and see what's going on up there and then uh, we'll go over to the Capitol building maybe I don't know we'll figure it out. So guys we're up on Capitol Hill right now this is the Potomac Avenue Metro station across the street where earlier today a man shot four people killing one who was a metro employee and well causing a bunch of chaos on the subway so as i think what happened is earlier today on that bus someone was shot the shooter went down into the subway station right there which is under repair and then he shot three more people killing one a metro employee who actually intervened to try to protect a woman who was being accosted and he got shot and he is he passed away Some of you have asked for an update on what's going on at the Fed since uh, it's actually the Federal Reserve governors are meeting today. I think it's today. They're going to raise rates or something. Um, what's going on? The uh, wood has been spread out across the whole side of the building like I showed you in my video the other day. There's a better view of it. Yeah, you can see all those uh, two by fours attached to the side. But if you look over here, there you go. They've put up some big tarps and cloth over the wood. And you're going to see that again on the uh, front side of the Fed. They're doing the same thing. Someone said that's sandblasting protection. Uh, they're going to sandblast the sides. If you look up over here, I don't know if they've already started sandblasting. It does look kind of weathered there, doesn't it? I don't know. You guys in construction know better than I do. And let's spin around to the front. I can show you what's going on there. They, they really ripped up the roads here, that's for sure. So as we go around the front, you can see they've put up that uh, that sheeting of some sort, protective sheeting, I guess, to cover the walls that's got the two by fours behind it. And I guess that's sandblasting or to protect some of the architecture. You can see like there's these columns. Yeah, you see here? There's like these columns and I think they're trying to protect those architectural uh, little accoutrements. But that's the Imper Department of Interior building. This is the actual Federal Reserve building. Fed bought the Department of the Interior building and they're going to renovate it, but uh, that's where the federal governors used to meet. Right now they're probably downtown somewhere, 18th and K, which is where their headquarters are. Well, there's another fence out here too. Never have enough fences in Washington, D.C. So over on this side, eh, still got the chain link fence up. Haven't really done much over on this side in the construction entrance. 
let's go around the corner here. So this Federal Reserve building on the left is still operational. There are guys meeting inside there and going in and out, staff um, pulling out with their suitcases, I guess maybe they're going on a trip. And this is the old Federal Reserve building. There's the picture. I've, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can see the actual uh, plans for it. So guys, I wanted to take you to Capitol Hill today, but it's a zoo up there. <laughs> they're voting on stuff. There's lots of uh, hearings. There was nowhere to park. There was cars everywhere. So we'll have to save Capitol Hill trip for another day. But we are in the alley, and you know what comes when I come out of this alley. Oh yes, it's Rockland's time. It's been about a week or two. Oh, chicken barbecue, but it's so big I have to eat it with my finger. And of course, the whole purpose of every video, French fries. Okay, guys, so yeah, a big day of airplanes. That's kind of what I like to see anyway. Uh, tomorrow we'll be out and about in the city. Hey, quick update on that shooting. Uh, there were four people shot. One was fatal. Three others are uh, injured, but it looks like they're going to be okay. Uh, the suspect ran onto a train where he was beaten and pummeled by the, passer, the, the passengers, and he's in detention right now. Uh, apparently the guy was a bit off. He was on a bus. There was a guy on the phone and he put a gun to the guy's head and said, hang up your phone. Uh, then when he got off, the guy got off the, the, the subway station, he ran, the, the guy on the phone, and then the crazy guy took after him with a gun. He told someone as he was going down the escalator into the station, well, I'm not gonna kill you or, or you're okay. Uh, I'm the killmonger. And then he went into the station and he just started shooting people. Just crazy stuff. Anyway, we will be back tomorrow. More stuff from Washington, D.C. and airplanes and fire trucks and, hey, whatever else we can see. Thanks a lot for watching. See you tomorrow.